exemptions are legal privileges, if you will, that allow you to protect property. I think of them as like a, a protection you can put over a piece of property so that you can keep it. Um, the concept of an exemption goes all the way back to England hundreds of years ago when even when uh, debtors were thrown into debtors prisons they at least got to keep the shirt on their back. It's much more generous now. You can keep tools of the trade, you keep your house generally, at least in Texas and Florida there's an unlimited exemption with some, there's always, there are always exceptions to all of these things. Um, and in most states you can keep your house up to a certain dollar value. Um, you get to keep one car per driver. Uh, in Texas and you know other states you may uh, have a dollar limit placed on the uh, vehicle um, or you get to keep your 401ks, IRAs, life insurance policies um, and up to a certain dollar amount of personal property. Personal property are the things inside your house like clothing and furniture. Generally that's not a problem because creditors don't really want that anyway. It's not really worth much. A used couch, by the time you pay movers to come and get it and an auctioneer to sell it, you really don't net much. And so even if it's a $5,000 limit in your state, you're probably going to be fine because all the stuff in your house, even though it's very val valuable to you, probably is not worth very much at, at, a, at a garage sale type uh, pricing um, scheme. And that is how they price it. They look at what would this fetch if it were at a Goodwill or Salvation Army store being sold or uh, at a garage sale. So the, um, the exemptions are the things you get to keep. And it, the word exempt comes from exempt from levy by creditors. So it's things that creditors can't take. When you file bankruptcy, the bankruptcy trustee that's appointed by the court steps into the shoes of your creditors. Kind of, it's kind of like the lawyer for your creditors. And he or she is going to look for any property that's not exempt that he can take and sell and divide up the proceeds among the creditors. Though, and one last thing on exemptions, every state has a different list and some states allow you to choose between their list and the federal list of exemptions. The federal list is less helpful in a lot of ways but it has one really good feature and that is it allows about $11,000 per person of wild card exemption that you can use to exempt anything.